We get it. After you've been in an accident, you deserve clear, risk-free advice to help get you back on your feet. You deserve an advocate. Should we start the show, or how do you want to do this? I probably just... should, yeah. Stay hard! Okay. Should probably hit the button. Which one? This one? Anita, Dick, and me. No, not that one. Okay. This, this one. is the is. Monty <laughs> Show, the truth in sports talk streaming. <laughs> when you want unbiased opinions about your favorite team without the spin, all you have to do is find the Monty Show, streaming live and available 24 hours a day, seven days a week on YouTube. And now, here's Monty. Hey, good morning. What's up? All right. Uh, we'll see you Monday until Monday. <laughs> Hi, it's Friday and I am ready for it to be Friday. Damn it, BYU in Oakland. Presented by the advocates at theadvocates.com, the best injury attorneys in the business. Where you never reach into your pocket to pay the advocates. You realize that you've been sitting there saying to yourself, do you need a lawyer? And the other voice in your head is like, no, Monty, you can't afford it, you broke fuck. Actually, you can. Actually, you can't because you never pay the advocates out of pocket. No, no, friends, you don't pay the advocates unless and until they win your case. If you get hurt at work, please, I'm, I'm begging you, don't listen to your boss. You thought he was an asshole before you got hurt. Yeah, he's going to support you afterward. He's probably not. How's that uh, job security looking, friends? That's why you go to the advocates. Okay. This is just an unorthodox kind of show because it's Giving Friday. <laughs> it's Giving Friday. I want to give you stuff. Yeah, today's the day where it's not so serious, right? We have a little Why more fun. So serious? Like, you know, you can make an ass of yourself for fun in the comments. Which you do every day, today, right? right? I mean, right. you know. I mean, I'm a paid I mean, professional, obviously. It, it is, yeah. So, so Giving yes. Friday. Pay it forward. Let's set a new record for membership. You know, it, it is. Uh, I, you know. Uh, so the question is, uh, who was first in this morning? Uh, Jizzy up in the house. That's two days in a row. It's a lot of Jizzy. Uh, Pete Forte, good morning. Happy Friday. Hello, Mountain Mama. Take me home <coughs> to a place <coughs> I belong. <coughs> South Carolina. Anyway, uh, hit the like button. That's correct. Hello, Dakota Tubbs. Always average. Mikel, uh, don't call me Mikel. Call me Michael. Mike, BYU crapped the bed. They did. Probably should change the sheets. Um, and, and Jake's like, I don't know who these Ducasey guys are, but <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I'm like, what are we talking we talk You mean Ducati motorcycles? Yeah, Ducati. I know yeah. what a Ducati. He's like, no, Duquesi. Duquesne. Duque du Duquesne. Kenny, Kenny Chesney. Uh, Can I just ask, how do you get Duquesne out of that? Okay, just a quick question. How do you get Duquesne out of that? He quite literally was like, I don't know who Duchesne du 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 is. It's okay, man. Duchesne. But BYU's not good today. How about you guys shoot a three? Dallin might want to score. He did score. He didn't Thank score. You. Did you watch the last Dude, five he seconds didn't of the score game? Nearly did enough. you score the last? Oh, now it's not enough. It's not enough. DeQuesney played really good defense. We got a weird BYU story. That awkward guy. It's BYU. Were they ever a threat? Oh, they were. They were. Uh, Big Daddy Magic. Hey, play a BYU embarrass themselves. BYU is living proof God has a sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, droid 3132 fucking Andrew Creel. <laughs> hey, Monty. <laughs> Might shorten that name up. Just saying. Just saying. Big Daddy uh, Not So Magical. I told you they'd absolutely knew nothing about their uh, the other school, but I knew it would be why you would find a way to eliminate themselves. That's the calling card. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Dude. Okay. Okay. Harry Austin, why do I pick against Izzo? And what a collapse by Nevada. Nevada. How'd Nevada look for you, yeah. Jake? I mean, I, I, I just want you to understand that, you know, it's 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 Nevada. Um, you can't read this bracket, but trust me when I say Jake did not pick Nevada. 
Yeah, I believe they're in the bottom left corner. Could be wrong. The, 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 well, I mean, the, look, hey, there's Duquesne. Yeah, Duquesne. Duquesne. And how stuff. about that? Yeah, how about that, <laughs> Jake? Um, yeah, you that, did, was, that you, was incredible. You did not have the best start. No. Uh, well, how'd that Washington State pick work out? Yeah, picking not Drake. Good. Not good. Just because Drake's a good rap, rapper doesn't mean he's a good basketball player. Yeah, well, the problem is, is that I was trying to find the upsets, and that didn't really work out for me. 21. Let me do something for ya. Do something for me. In us. Uh, <laughs> I had a pretty good bracket working until Texas Tech. Oh, pew, pew. Throw tortillas. Oh, Joey, Joey this. Joey that. Joey doesn't coach the basketball program. Can anybody explain to me? And and listen, I'm just over here being little Monty. Because it's garbage. Is Texas Tech failing the Big 12? Yeah. Yeah. You could say that. You could say that because this was not a good day outside of uh, BYU, which we're going to talk about here in a second. You you understand the day one of the NCAA tournament was not a good day for the Big Twelve. I mean BYU out. Nice job, Duquesne. Yeah, thanks. It's Duquesne. Um, I know it's Duquesne. Stop, well, Monty. Monty, you said it was Duquesne, and it's actually Duquesne. Do you even watch Duquesne? No. I don't. And I don't watch fucking Oakland either. <laughs> oh, you don't know who Goki is? Guy in the comment section yesterday, you curse too much. Okay, I'll curse more. <laughs> there are other podcasts. Anyway. You're so fucked. You're supposed to say it's not a pod. Anyway, okay. Uh, is Texas Tech failing the Big 12? And I, it, it, very seriously, with all due respect, is Texas Tech failing the Big 12? You're not winning football games. Uh, you're not winning basketball games in the tournament. You gave away multiple tournament unit units in a situation where it was expected that, you know, pew, pew, ooh, Lubbock, wow, tortilla West Texas, land. we're going to throw tortillas. You were expected to throw tortillas several more times, and now you're not. And you can take your ass back to West Texas, right? Like this is, it's becoming a pattern now with Texas Tech where your your athletic performance in football and basketball is becoming a disappointment. Mm -hmm. And the Big 12, I, 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 if Kansas doesn't get that call, and, and I'm being serious with this, do you understand if Kansas doesn't get that call on Samford, which was not a foul at the rim there? No. That's not a foul. No. Do you understand the absolute disaster that yesterday would have been when you look at the fact that all over, all over the, the Eastern side of this bracket, BYU out, right? Disaster for, for the big 12 NC state knocks off Texas tech disaster. Never mind. Let it sink in that NC state plays in the ACC who says they're the best basketball conference. Well, maybe Texas Tech to help prove that, right? You, I, I just think now you're in a situation where Kansas had to hang on by their short and curlies just to survive flipping Sanford. And you're looking at, you're looking at Texas, thankfully, actually coming to life and beating Colorado State. Right. And you're looking at Arizona – Soundly beating Long Beach State. But, you, you, I mean, you're starting to understand that going forward, you, you, you're you're not in a good spot right now. Yeah, you need brands like Texas Tech to perform. And, and you don't even need them to win national championships. What you do need them to do is just make the college football playoff. You do need them to win a couple of tournament games. Like, if, if Texas Tech could simply be a Sweet 16 team every single year and then fall into the elite eight or the final four once in a blue moon. That'd yeah. be nice, you know? And, and I look at this and I say like, you know, today Baylor dude, Baylor needs to win a ball game today. Right? Houston. 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 And I know it's long when money don't start with this money. Houston bullshit. I know I get it. Houston's got to dominate today. Baylor much to your point. I think Baylor has to play really well. This has been a big disappointment. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it's not disappointing on the level of Kentucky, and I guess we're still going to talk about whether or not Kentucky should fire John Calipari. 
But before we get to that, let me ask you about BYU. Because what was the narrative about BYU coming into the Big 12? And I know my friends down in in Provo are going to hate this. And I'm sorry to tell you, this is a reality check. What was the narrative about BYU? Well, they don't play on Sunday, so we don't want them in the conference. Um, Did Sunday play hurt BYU in this NCAA tournament? Should they have been a five seed? I think they should have been a five seed. It was, and we talked about it on the show, it was a great mystery as to why BYU was so so far down the ranking, the seeding. And it's because BYU took the is that institution that has a religious exemption. So if you can avoid scheduling them on Sunday, you're mandated to do that. So instead of playing Friday, Sunday, and being a five seed, BYU played Thursday, Saturday, and didn't make it to Saturday as a six seed, and they lost to Kenny Chesney. And I think it is a legitimate concern if you're the Big 12 about BYU and Sunday play. Now, that I think that was was borne out. Because if you're playing as a six, if you're playing UAB as a, as a lower seed, you're in a much better position than you were playing Duchesne yesterday and never really looking like you were all that serious about winning that game. And I think Sunday play mattered here, and I'm not playing a stereotype or any of that. But you can't tell me that if you're in the upper half of the bracket that that would have made a difference for BYU. Yeah, absolutely would have made a difference. And I and I think that that's what is so interesting about this game yesterday for BYU. You know, you you use the word uninterested, I believe. Like, you, just not looking, you know, locked in. Not looking like, hey, like, our life is on the line here every day moving forward. And we got to we gotta play a good game here. And, and what I really didn't understand is <clears throat> why, why? they were not running proper offense yesterday. Like, I, we're watching this game. And I'm like, dude, they just look kind of blasé on offense yes. today. Like, like you know, when – I can't remember who they played before yesterday, but that last game they played, they looked locked in. They were moving the ball. They were getting open looks in the corner. They, yep. were, they, were, they were looking strategic. They were running offense to create three-point opportunities. Yeah, which is why they shot the three at such a high rate and didn't shoot the three at a high rate yesterday. And you allowed Duquesne to run you off the three-point line, which is inexplicable to me. That is your bread and butter at BYU. And again, all due respect to my friends in Provo, stop talking about being a five seed. Because it killed you. And you're not a five seed because you didn't want to play on Sunday. And it is, it is, it, and I don't think you should. I We've talked about this at length on this show. The honor code is what it is. And I don't believe you should ever play an athletic endeavor on Sunday. Not at BYU. I just, that that's your core belief system. That is the foundation of your, of your faith. I don't believe you should be doing that. But also then don't whine and complain like, a little Sally about not being a five seed because you're not a five seed because you wouldn't play on Sunday. Mm -hmm. That's the, that's the juxtaposition and the winless is, you know, battle that you fight when you're in, in BYU situation, because you're, you're better than San Diego state, but San Diego state's a five and you were a six because you didn't want to play on Sunday. Yeah. and, and, And I think that, you know, you, you look at the box score after watching this game and you're just like, dude, like, like, how does Down Hall only have three three point attempts? How 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 is it that dude plays thirty six minutes and is one of three from three and only three of six from the field? That's what I'm talking about. And that one three that went in was a heave at the end of the ball game. Yeah, like, beautiful shot. But where was that in the in the first fourteen and a half minutes? Right, like that's that's the part that I struggle with. Where was that in the first half? Where was that? Outside of the last thirty seconds of the game, yeah, and, and it just, I, 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 I would agree that BYU, you know, needs to a reality check feels strong because I think they understand the position they're in, but, but they, you just have to be better. This is, and I feel like we keep saying this about Big Twelve brands. Like if Baylor loses today, it's, it's an embarrassing performance out of the Big Twelve in the first week of the tournament. Like I don't think they're going to lose today, but let's say they did. It's embarrassing. I I mean, you can't have BYU, Texas Tech, like these nameplate brands inside your conference who really should win their first-round matchup. You can't have them lose that matchup 
because at that point, it's all cool that you were tied with the SEC for for you know the most teams getting into the tournament. But what good is that if they don't win a ball game? You know, if you don't even win one single game, like what kind of position does that put your conference in? And then you know you start you start going around the bracket, and you're like, yeah, wow, the SEC and the ACC really got some stuff going on here. Like that that's what bothers me, man. Like the Big Twelve has to find a way to just simply win more. And that's more difficult to do in 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 football than it is in basketball. But it has to happen, man. It has to happen. You have to get to a place where where the Big 12 as a basketball conference is the best in the land. Because again, we talk so much about, you know, realignment and and God tiers and all this nonsense going on in college football. We talk about God that tears. with the preface that the Big 12 dominates in basketball. That's not taking place this year. It's just simply not. And that it can't be a situation moving forward where 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 all the realignment becomes official this season, where yeah. the Big 12 just continues to be mediocre. That can't happen. That They have to be better than this. Yeah, and I, I think now Baylor and Houston become vital today. It is it is not optional for Baylor and Houston to win. The if you are the Big Twelve and you are fighting for financial viability, you've got to have a deep these deep tournament runs to build your tournament units. Yeah, like it is it is not optional. And the in the bracket, I I thought coming into this that the bracket really favored the southern the south region. I thought with Texas Tech, I thought Texas Tech would beat. Um, NC State, and I thought they would go on to give Kentucky a hell of a run. And now you feel like had they beaten NC State, um, that they would be going to the Sweet 16. Yeah, and that that goes out the window. But I, I look at um, this Houston Longwood match. Houston needs to come out and prove a point. In, in my opinion, I I think that is such an incredibly important um, ball game. I think the TCU Utah State game, uh, which is tonight. Um, at, uh, what is that? Nine central, um, tonight that game goes off. I think that becomes a huge one. And now you start looking at the West and you say to yourself, well, I mean, essentially Baylor is all you have left in the West. Mm -hmm. Baylor now becomes this really important figure. And it's, a, it's a little scary. It's a, those five, 12, three, 14 matchups. Baylor and Colgate, you can't tell me Colgate's beaten Baylor. No. You can't. And Baylor probably goes on um, to face Clemson. And so now, what do you get? You get an ACC Big 12 matchup that Baylor has to win. Well, and I think Baylor, you know, obviously is more than capable of winning that game. That's the thing. Like, I, I look at these brands and I'm like, Baylor is... Baylor is a very strong basketball program. Like, I don't think anyone doubts that. And I think, very. you know, you, you look at their potential path and, you know, if it's, if it's, you know, Colgate, Clemson, and then let's say, you it's probably know, Arizona. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. Dayton played pretty good. You know, they were behind in that game, but when they turned it on, they really turned it on. So let's say, but let's say it's Arizona, right? At that point, you know, then you're in a really good spot. Obviously, Arizona is not yet a Big 12 team, but you can start to picture this for next year moving forward. And you went to the Sweet 16. Yeah. At that point. Yeah. That's and at that point, if you if, if there's no reason Baylor can't beat Arizona, right? They, yeah. So you can't go to the the Elite Eight. Um, when when you're probably looking at somebody like a a St. Mary's or, or a North Carolina. You know, like now, I'm now obviously we're projecting way forward, but I think we're in a position now where it's really important that I'm telling you, Baylor and Houston, you don't have expectations for a number nine TCU, right? You you just don't have expectations at that level. When you're when you're one, two, three, you have expectations, and Baylor and Houston have to come out and prove a point today, like win by 25 points. Yeah, do what North Carolina did, right? You're going to watch UConn absolutely decimate Stetson today. Yeah. That's what I want to see Houston do to Longwood. Who the f is Longwood? That's that's the that's the thing for me. Yeah. Like I I the Big 12 this is this is feeding season for the Big 12. You're talking about multiple years of financial income going out the window yesterday with Texas Tech and BYU. 100%. And it 100%. sucks. It absolutely sucks.
Uh, Tanner Plummer, I think Mark Pope choking in the postseason needs to be discussed more. Um, I didn't love. Okay, first of all, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and have a discussion about firing somebody or whatever. I'm just going to talk about this game yesterday, dude. The the coaching side of this game was disappointing. I agree. They the idea that you let the the runs go on for that long without calling a timeout. It's crazy. Yeah, I, mean, I agree I know, with that too. I, I know that you don't have a gazillion timeouts to call, but you you have to. There, there's got to be something, right? So you can't be in a spot where you're running crap offense and you can't get a stop on defense. That doesn't work. You yeah. either need to be playing great defense and getting stops and struggling offensively, or you need to be a juggernaut on offense and defense is what it is. And yesterday they they were they were neither. And I don't know why he didn't give Treyari more minutes. As soon as you put him on the floor, what happens? You control the pace to play more. You're getting to the line a little more. He's able to bully his way down into well, the paint. And you were having so much success with Jackson Robinson getting to the rim. Yes. And so I, I'm good with that, but you can't shoot 38% from the floor. And how many layups did you miss? We're sitting here watching the game yeah. yesterday and Jake literally said, I could have made that layup. And I said, I agree. Yeah, and they were talking about it on the broadcast. Like, yeah. how many layups are you going to miss? And, and so is it coaching? I don't think yesterday's loss was coaching. I think it was execution at the player level. Because, yeah, you, you, you only shot, what did they shoot, 24 threes? They shot 33% from three. But you can't miss the just an extraordinary amount of layups. Just easy, gimme buckets. And I agree with Treori. I agree. I think Jackson Robinson probably kept you in this game. But how how do you explain Dallin Hall only taking six shots? Yeah, that's just not good enough. And and I was like, dude, like, like why? Because you had him on prize picks yesterday. So we were I did. Kinda, I we needed were, him to have nine. He had eleven. So we were kind of spotlighting him as we watched this game. And I'm like, dude, why is he being so passive? Like, like not that not that he not that he doesn't want the ball, but it just seemed like they put him. They they said, okay, you're going to bring the ball up today. And well, he is. He Dallin Hall is BYU's facilitator. He has never been and likely would never be your leading scorer. But you can't pass the opportunities he passed. And I felt like it was very passive, and they waited far too long to feed Treori. And I think a lot of that was that you were forced into that offense because you didn't have an answer for their press defense. Right. And I think the, it, it, sure, we could go round and round about this, make your layups and you win that game. That's what you, that's the pill you got to swallow today. You make that layup and you're, I'm telling you, you make those layups, you win that game. Well, you Dallin only lost Hall, by four. Dallin Hall is not the reason they lost that game. He is an example of why they didn't win it, though. And I just wish they had been more, more aggressive. That that to me, it's it's that simple. Yeah. Because Duquesne, Duquesne is not great. Duquesne's good. Duquesne's not great. Let's let's stop. And frankly, I, I tend to look at I tend to look at Kentucky. Kentucky just is not well coached anymore. Cal, I know I think Cal needs a change of scenery, but he's got a $30 million buyout. I would buy him out. I would fire John Calipari at Kentucky. I'm not firing Mark Pope at BYU. That's a tough job. It is very difficult to recruit and develop. You would, your best talent always comes from the state of Utah in basketball. Yeah. And high school basketball oftentimes does not convert to big college game. And I think one of the differences is the way that NIL has changed college basketball now. Now you're getting two, three-year guys. Mm-hmm. And you've actually got to develop. No, like, look at the news that G League Ignite is folding after this season. Do you guys know what G League Ignite is? G League Ignite was the NBA's answer for a team to stock it with kids who didn't want to go to college and wanted a competitive atmosphere to get ready for the NBA draft. Well, now kids don't want that anymore because NIL is so prolific. So the best high school kids are getting paid and they're staying in college longer because they can make two, three hundred thousand dollars a year, and the average garden variety college basketball player in a in a P four program uh, is probably making between fifty and seventy five thousand dollars a year. That's pretty good money. Yeah, and and you can have the college experience, 
and you can play in in big games that matter to you and your team, where in the G League that isn't the case, I'm going to go to college and get seventy five to one hundred thousand a year. Yeah. So G League night going away. Now there's more emphasis, and BYU is going to have to prove that they can take that elite high school basketball player in the state of Utah, because overwhelmingly. If you're a really good LDS basketball player in the state of Utah, where are you going to college? You're probably going to BYU. Yep. The atmosphere at Marriott Center is fantastic. Utah doesn't have a good basketball program right now. You're probably going to BYU. And BYU's got to prove that you can make a kid viable for three years. The problem is, how often does BYU put basketball players in the NBA? Not something you're known for. So I think BYU is in this paradoxical place in Big 12 basketball where they've got to take this big step forward. But if you're if you're Kentucky, you're a blue blood and you you don't expect to lose to Oakland. No. You don't. If you're Kansas, obviously Kansas has significant injury issues, but there feels like there's something off there. You needed a a a, a big favor from the officials to move on. So I don't know. I think it's a really interesting situation. Let's get your thoughts in here. On Giving Friday, number one, let's play the like button game. Let's play the like button let's game. Let's do it. Uh, we've got 100 people watching and only 25 likes. So here's the proposition. We're 25 likes away from 50 likes. Hit the like button in the next 60 seconds. If we get to 50 likes on the show, we'll give a $25 Amazon gift card away. Not a lot to ask. Get it done. Starting right now. Let's go. 25 of you hyenas hit the like button and we'll give away a $25 Amazon gift card right now, live on the show. Hit the like button. Giving Friday also means you give away Monty Show memberships. Get in, help your help people like, uh, who's not a member? Uh, Claremont LaRue isn't a member. Somebody gift a membership so Claremont LaRue can become a member. Yes. That awkward guy, he's not a member anymore kind of awkward you're not a member anymore hyena awkward guy uh <laughs> nine away yeah six away 30 seconds to go hit the like button let's go if you get six more likes in 30 seconds we'll give away a 25 dollar amazon gift card come on four more likes come on four more likes to go 20 God. seconds yeah. come on 20 seconds to go four likes hit the like button three to go you guys Bro, 15 seconds. Come on now. 10 seconds. Bros. Dude, five seconds. Six, five. Hey. Hey, there it is. All right. All you have to do right now is comment like. All you have to do right now is comment like. L-I-K-E. Comment like. And if you comment like, I am going to pick you. As the as the winner of our twenty five dollar Amazon gift card, so drop a like comment telling me that you hit the like button. Uh, we'll verify it. Harry Austin gives ten Monty Show memberships. Let's go, Harry. Get us started. Let's go. Let's go, Harry Austin. Good to see you. Appreciate you participating in the show. Participating. Uh, all right. Look at all the likes. First twenty five dollar Amazon gift card today uh, is going to go to who? I'm not giving it to Pootie. No, you can't do it, dude. Pooty, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> We're not funding the nuclear program, dude. Uh, Rick Forrester. How about Big Daddy Magic? How about San Diego State Glenn? See, Glenn, you're not a member. Yeah, see, that's the problem, dude. You got to pick up a membership, bro. How about Mountain Mama? Nice. Mike Smith is here yeah. every single day. Yeah, let's go, Mountain Mama. I got you, Mike bro. Smith is here every single day. Yeah. He supports the show. And he's usually first in unless Jizzy decides to Jizzy. Now. I mean, he cleans coal for a living because he lives in West Virginia. <laughs> do you prefer Dawn dish soap or what kind of soap do you prefer? Or, or are you more of a cascade guy? Yeah. When you're cleaning your coal. Uh, Mike Smith, I love you, dude. I appreciate you. I am so thankful that I see you every day and I get to sing Mountain Mama. Take me home to a place where I can gift you an Amazon gift card. Yay! DM Jake, Mountain Mama, you won, Mike Smith. Appreciate you, Do dude. Do it. Appreciate, look at all of you hitting the like button. Caleb, John, uh, Jizzy, Kim Coulter. Kim, aren't you a Baylor fan? Uh, Steven Smith, hit the like button. 
Appreciate you every single day. Thanks for being a member. Doug Byers, I like it. Go Ducks. Got to be a member. Matt Ritson, the awkward guy. Can I use gift card to get a membership? <laughs> no. Uh, Robert Fowler. Good to see you, Robert. Uh, I was first. Right, but I didn't say the first one to hit the like button. You know. John DeLon, how about me? John, you're special and unique. And <laughs> you know. I, John, I appreciate please. you. Okay, how many likes do we have now? The awkward like, guy says many, palm olive for me. How many likes do we have now? We have 63 likes on a, on uh 500 views. Okay. Okay. Uh, and how many we have 114 people watching? We still got we still got room. Um it's it's seven o'clock. We'll give away another one. Yeah. Yeah, we got room. We we have room. Yeah, seven o'clock. Um, if you gift a Monty Show membership, we're also gonna give away another Amazon gift card to everybody. That everybody who gifts a membership today has a chance to win an Amazon gift card. Not everybody who gifts one will win one, but do do what Harry Austin did. Harry, 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 uh, the best San Antonio uh, resident on the show. Yeah, a San Antonian. Right. Uh, he gave away ten Monty Show memberships. So right now, if nobody else gifts a membership, Harry Austin's going to win an Amazon gift card before the show's over. Yeah. You can also gift memberships and that will put you in that pool as well. John DeLon, Monty, what did you do with the money from the singing lessons? Exactly. I bought more Jordans. Yeah. And golf balls. Yeah. Golf balls. Uh, I'm a red rate. Oh. Yeah. Um, mm. I'm a red Raider. Yeah. Tough, tough day. It's been a tough sports year. It is. You cannot wait for fall camp to get here. <laughs> it cannot get here soon enough. I see likes. Boyd says, yes, you do. Awkward guy says Palm Olive. You know, I agree. I absolutely agree. Uh, where are you guys at on the NCAA tournament? Let's get your thoughts. Yes. What? Bro, Mike, dude, we're not mailing you a gift card. I just DM me his address. We're not mailing it to you, dude. We just email it. That guy. See, this is what happens when you when you mess around with Mountain Mama, man. <laughs> the funny thing is, Mountain Mama, Mike Smith, you know what the funny thing is? Is that um, Mrs. Monty and I were at Costco the other day. And if Forever Stamps are now $67 for a book of Forever Stamps. We're walking out to get cavity searched on the way out of Costco. <laughs> And I said to my wife, when's the last time we mailed something? And she's like, I don't know. I'm guessing we have stamps somewhere in the house. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't used the post service in yeah. ages. I haven't written a check in years. I can't tell you the last time I scratched a check. I quite literally don't know. When is the last time I scratched a check? I have no idea. I, I can't even think of it. Uh, let's see. Does Iowa State, Stephen Smith, a member for eight months. Let's go, baby. Does Iowa State win last night help the Big 12? Well, of course it does. I think Iowa State has to make a deep run. They beat uh, South Dakota State 82-65. They've got Washington State and then likely a matchup with Illinois, and that might be the singul singularly best game of the tournament. Yeah. And Illinois-Iowa State matchup is fantastic. It could really be special, really special. So yeah, uh, I am. I you got to get by Washington State and look, the Washington State Cougs playing some good basketball. I mean they they beat Drake last night, sixty six sixty one. Do you know that was the most bet uh, seven ten matchup of the tournament so far? Uh, that the uh, I say so far. How many are you going to have? Uh, Washington State. There was a ton of money on Drake in that matchup. Yeah, I took Drake. I took Drake. Yeah. And not the rapper. So yeah, Iowa State absolutely I think Iowa State's pivotal. I think Iowa State is absolutely pivotal. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. San Diego State Glenn, can I unlike my like since my like is no good here? Your like is good here. It your like has more value here than the pro rata you don't deserve. So yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Kim Coulter, it was actually worse yesterday for tech as we lost to freaking BYU in baseball. BYU stick and ball sports at BYU. Now, as we discussed right here on the showgram with uh, Jake Retzloff, BYU quarterback, yeah, presented by our good friend 
Ryan down at Big O Tires in American Ford. Uh, BYU softball lost to Utah softball. Yes. Stick and ball sports at BYU are pretty good, believe it or not. Uh, Valpo is the Red Raiders. Y- yeah, that must, Valparaiso, yes. Yeah, yeah, you, how did you know, John? I haven't heard the word Valpo in so long. Uh, Dakota Tubbs, Cal's time is done at Kentucky. I totally agree. It has to be. One and four in his last four tourneys. This is a problem with how he builds his one and done system. His teams never have the chemistry that showed last night. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. No doubt. Tanner Plumer, I know, wasn't it lovely, Kim? Don't twist the knife in the chest of Texas Tech, please. Big Daddy Magic. Write a check to Big Daddy Magic featuring a lot of zeros. Big Daddy Magic. Did you guys see what the uh, Mega Millions is? This is your beloved. Mega Millions is almost a billion dollars. Doll hairs. Therefore, thus and like such as myself. Yeah. I'll be driving to Evanston, Wyoming alone today. Listen, dude, I, you know, what, what do you want? What do you want me to do? I gotta, I gotta go and uh, handle some business. Jake's got to go down and see our guy, Ryan at big O tires and American fork, getting his oil changed and stuff. Anyway. Okay. Uh, nice hand motion. Sean <laughs> Mirzinski. <laughs> how do you not have a, rev- a review available, especially in the NCAA tournament? That was a horrendous miscarriage of justice in that Kansas game. Yes, it was. Horrendous. Mike Smith, cleaning coal hurts the brain. (laughs) Well, let me get my scrub brush out. A little calm olive. Monty. (laughs) That was one of the funniest missteps a president has ever made. Uh, San Diego State, Glenn. Washington State, Monty. Washington State over here getting their water ice on. Hey, Monty. Who doesn't say? Saying Washington is fine. Washington is so much better. Yeah. So much better. Tanner, BYU baseball is 10 and 8 overall and one game over 500 in Big 12 play. So far, so good. You know, everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Yeah. Uh, if Calipari gets fired, Oak State will take him. But what about Mike Gundy? Yeah. Can't Gundy coach every sport? I mean, he's he's Jesus down there, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's not busy with Bedlam anymore. Right. You know. <laughs> My bad. So, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, Oak State James, um, also a member for 10 months. Let's go, James. Glad you're here, Trigger Monty. Uh, greetings from <laughs> Louisville. Did vids on Cincy, Kentucky, and Ohio State yesterday? Uh, vids. Vids. Cool Kids Club. Uh, Louisville and Bowling Green today then headed back to Texas. I mean, I don't know how you go through Kentucky without seeing Bowling Green. Yeah, you know, mine. Monty, the hot dogs at Bowling Green are truly incredible. Can we, Pure beef meat but, sticks. But Jakey Tools, can we talk about the relish? Yeah. The Bowling Green relish. I mean, listen, guys. Okay. Uh, Pete Forte gifted 10 Monty Show memberships. Let's go. <laughs> Pete, appreciate you. Let's appreciate go, you very much. Now, Pete and Harry both have gifted Monty Show memberships, and thus are in the running to win a Monty show, uh, an Amazon gift card from the Monty show. It, hey, Am- Monty. We're giving away an Amazon gift card. It's Whatever. giving Friday. So uh, if you want a chance to win, donate Monty show memberships. West Virginia, Scott Huggins to Oklahoma State. <laughs> oh, my God. Stop. Oh, yeah, Huggy Bear. Huggy Bear. Oh, yeah, Huggy Bear. I didn't bear, know Monty. they called him that. Mike Smith says, let's go. Pete Forte, yes. John DeLon. Why are schools that aren't LSU even bothering to play baseball? Dem Tiger, go Tigers, go Tigers. Uh, going back to back, uh, Baba. I agree, I agree. Lil Jizzy, Jake's like a good old fashioned oil. Jake likes a good old fashioned. Yeah, you know, it's really, it's really important. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> Maybe you can put your uh, catalytic converter back on. Yeah, you know, UW fan Jim. Does the Big Twelve get some of uh, the Texas wins in the tourney? They do. They absolutely do. Yep. Because right now, like Arizona is still in the Pac-12. Those units go to the Pac-12. Yeah. Texas still in the Big 12. Those units go to the Big 12. But it is a crazy-ass conversation if you look at the bracket and you're like, all right, next year, if this were the bracket next year, my God. Dude, I mean, you're you're in a completely different place. Who Who's, who's paying attention to Colorado today? 
I think I think Colorado, Colorado, Colorado. Uh, Rocky Mountain oysters for everyone after they beat Florida today. Yeah, you damn well better be watching that game because that is a big, big game. That is an, that is the Big Twelve. Make a statement with basketball. Yeah. Next year, I think you're exactly right. Yeah. You put this bracket out next year, the Big Twelve would be dominant. So we'll see. I don't know. I see. This is what I like about the NCAA tournament. And, and I will say, I will say. You know, I know initially. Okay, I Jake's going to hey. say it. Jake is going to okay, say fine, it. Go he's going to no, tell you go he's going to say it, go and ahead. then he might say it after he again tells you he's going to say what he said yesterday. So he'll tell you today that he's going to say something. Go ahead. What? I, I don't have anything to say. You just said you were going to no, tell I'm us good. something. No, you're good. He said what he allegedly said. No, I'm good, dude. I'll stop. Go ahead, please. No, Here, okay. let me single you up. Go ahead. No, no, please. I it's it's the Monty show, not the Jake show. So, Go ahead, yeah. say it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he said what he allegedly said. Yeah, yeah. Where is that <laughs> drop? In? Where are the Sopranos drops? They're on the hard drive that I have to find. Oh my God! You don't even have the Sopranos drops on the show. Well, I have some of them. I don't have all of them. Yeah, he right. said but what the respect he said what he allegedly said is no. is such a good draw. <clears throat> oh man, that's one of the all timers. Yeah. So you lost your hard drive. No, I didn't lose. Jake them. can't find uh his hard drives. It has all of the uh like all the codes and stuff for yeah, the, the launch, launch codes. codes. Yeah, launch codes in the, in the directions on how to clean all that coal. Yeah. Uh John DeLon, uh, I hear Ali Gordon is a killer in basketball, Heisman Trophy winner in basketball. <laughs> Just ask James, he'll tell you. Moving on. Mike Smith, I'm a little hurt that James did not stop by Morgantown. Oh, Monty. You know? Wasn't in the gasoline budget to go to Morgantown. I know. I know. I would take Huggy Bear in stool water. Dude. No, you wouldn't. How are you going to take Huggy Bear in stool water when the guys are drunk? How, how are you going to do that? How's that going to work? Need a new drunk tank. Uh, Big Daddy Magic. If I won the billion dollars, <laughs> I would buy you guys season tickets to the Bears. I could write them off as a charitable contribution, right? Victor's the way. You could. You could. If I won a billion dollars, I wouldn't buy you dick. <laughs> Nothing. I would buy you San Antonio season tickets. I would. I'd buy you Spurs season tickets. I'd buy you jazz season tickets so that you could go to see the Spurs. You know. Uh, Aquasadol. Aqu uh, Bro, we got to work on Aqua the I, Who the fuck is that guy? I, I quacked a saw two, Who three, four. Who are you? ACC 10 and 3 versus Big 12 this year. Basketball power struggle. I agree a, a, a quack a saw. That's I think you're right. Uh John Delon, what would that be a Pat Riley oil change or a Robert De Niro oil change? Just the tip. The cock. Uh <laughs> James, Mike, I'm planning a trip either later this year or next year to get Syracuse, West Virginia, Penn State, and Michigan. I have done six or eight stadiums that hold over 100,000 need to more. Well, size does matter, James, you know. San Diego State, Glenn. Nice pause, Jake. I'm re-smashing the like button. <laughs> <laughs> West Virginia, Scott, amen. UW fan, Jim. Huggy could be the next Sark if he gets sober, but he's too old. But how long have we been saying if he gets sober, if they do this, if they do that? Like, you should have never gotten the trouble you did. Like, yeah. come on. DeLon says to just call him Aquasaw. Aquasaw is fine. Or I quacked a saw is also perfectly believable. Uh, Okay. You know, what? A quack a saw? Yeah. Um, um, let me ask you this. Should the NCAA tournament be expanded? I think it, I, I don't think I'm pretty certain it's going to expand to 80. I think that's what most of the money makers want. But I think what we saw in the conference tournament chaos in, and granted, I totally agree with the, with the big dogs, not winning their conference championships. A lot of lower tier teams got pushed out of the NCAA tournament. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Right. I think that's good for college basketball. 
I do not advocate for expanding the tournament. I advocate for keeping it just the way it is. I don't even like the playing games. Yeah. But I advocate for keeping the way it is. It's going to be expanded. I think when you expand it, you damage conference championship week. I think you damage Cinderella further than you already have. I don't I'm not for expansion. Jake, should they expand it? I don't think you should expand. I I think that the 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 idea of hey, this is the number and you're either in that group or you're out of that group is brilliant. I, I mean, I think that's why the tournament has always been this, you know, it's always had this specialness to it because not everybody gets in and there's a price to pay for losing. And so the idea that we, that you would expand it just tells me it's it's only about TV revenue, you know, and, and that that really to me is a fine line because obviously, yeah, you want to get as much TV revenue in as you can, of course, but you also want there to be as much drama as possible. And I think what better way to have drama than to simply say, hey, yeah, you didn't you didn't get in, like you just you just didn't, you know, and 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 I think if you expand to eighty, let's say, or whatever that expanded number looks like. You know, you're you're just giving. I mean, think about how many more teams that is, man. That's what is that? Sixteen more teams? Like, that's a lot of teams, man. That's a lot of opportunity. That's a lot of people who were previously on the bubble that are now in. And that's why I say, with basketball specifically, I I agree it's going to expand, but I don't love the idea of expanding it. I think it's just fine the way it is now. I do, you know, in comparing basketball and football. I do think it was necessary to expand the college football playoff just because it was so restrictive. It, you know, you were so small with only four teams getting in that too many were being were being left out. So that's why I say I think the, the tournament's in fine shape. Like, legit, it's in fine shape. It gives us plenty to talk about. There's plenty of coverage. It dominates the TV landscape for, you know, whatever, three weeks or whatever it is. Like, it's in a fine spot. So I wouldn't expand it, but I tend to agree they're going to expand it. They're going to expand it. I don't I don't think there's any doubt about that. And as much as I am disappointed you haven't hit the like button yet, um, you know, I think that it is it's one of those situations and scenarios where it's all about the money, dude. Um, I agree. I think college the college football playoff was totally different. You needed more seats at the table. And I think expansion was the only way that the SEC and the Big Ten were going to make more money. Yeah, College basketball is not that. And I think the reason you're not seeing Greg Sankey and Tony Petiti crying out loud for expansion is they don't have great basketball product. The SEC obviously is on the come there. But I think when you, when you look at, you're not even going to say anything. You're not even. I said on the come there. I want to interrupt your take, dude. <laughs> <laughs> What kind of co-host are you? Like, I I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Are we with that. finally getting to a place? <laughs> are we finally getting to a place where maybe Big Daddy Magic needs to step in? They're and, finally on the come there. You just roll that out right in the middle well, of the sentence. It would usually to... I would go to play the Tanner Plumber card, would be the next co-host, but he's about to get murked in, Why in Mexico. Yeah, he's gonna be unalived in Mexico by some cartel. So it defaults to Big Daddy Magic now. Let's run. Is it time to make a change? <laughs> When I can't even get a Sopranos drop after I say they're on the come now, there, yeah, there's a problem here. And with all due respect, do you guys see what I have to deal with? With all due respect, Man, all due respect, I miss that drop so much. He said what he allegedly said. I'll, I will make sure we find the drives. I don't count on that at all. Uh, Stephen Smith for five dollars. It should not be expanded because of how Virginia played in the play-in in Dayton. That's what I'm saying, dude. Don't don't. I'm ask with you for free passes because you played like crap. I agree. I am. I am totally with you, Mike Smith. Okay, a pedo state bomb. Uh, James, unofficial mayor of Cowboy Country. If you go to pedo state, don't <laughs> visit the shower. <laughs> Excuse me, Mike. It's not the showers at pedo state. It is the Jerry Sandusky wet room. <laughs> okay, let's get it right. They officially renamed it Pedo State. Hey, James, have you been to Northwestern yet? <laughs> <laughs> John DeLon says, no, do not expand. Uh, Big Blue Horses, I think AAU basketball is not doing college basketball fundamentals any favor. The culture of, of youth basketball in this country is brutal. It's all that. Listen, that Kyrie alley -oop, to DJJ last night, it 
was redonkulous. Yeah. That's what all the kids want. Yeah. They all want to be Steph Curry. They all want to be, nobody wants to be LeBron James, the best basketball player of his generation. Nobody wants to be Michael Jordan anymore. They want to shoot threes and they want to dunk the ball. Yeah. That's what the game's turned into, unfortunately. And I, I agree with the, you 100%, Big Blue Horses. That's a great point. Uh, let's see, Gigatti. No expansion is needed, Giggity says. They need to fix the way teams are selected. Virginia had no business being in. I think that's a really strong point. A very strong point. Mike Smith, I agree. I know it would uh, help the Big 12 get more teams in, but I think there is plenty in there now. It's different than football. I totally agree. Yes. I The playoff scenarios in football, totally different. James, uh, they should make a rule that the winner of the NIT gets in the big dance the next year as long as they finish above 500. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard outside of the Sandusky <laughs> weather. No, they should not. You you don't earn your way into it, – it's not a playoff. Yeah, this isn't relegation, bro. Playoffs? You don't, you don't get – you don't get – Oh well, hey, uh, we we couldn't make it this year, but we won the NIT. It's not difficult to win your way into the NCAA tournament. If you're like, ah, oh, this is St. John's with you know Petto Patino, the Italian <laughs> restaurant guru. Um, <laughs> with all the respect, just the name I gave him. My, you know, um, Rick Patino <laughs> spent the month of February talking about how shitty his basketball team was and how bad they are and how not good they are. And we're really not good. And this is embarrassing and we're really not good. And then when they left you on the outside, you were like, I can't believe it. This is an injustice, but uh tricky Ricky. Um, listen, now that you're done finding morning after pills for your, you know, Italian restaurant friends, <laughs> uh, maybe you should focus on not calling your team shitty for a month so that the selection committee didn't hear that for a month. And they're like, hey, the Johnnies are on the bubble. Um, yeah, you um, know, they're pretty shitty. Let's um, leave them out. Because that's what happened. Yeah. So you didn't get left out necessarily because you're actually shitty. It's because you branded yourself as shitty. You know. Which is shitty. So they left in the shitty and the stuff. That's bullshit. Right. Exactly right. You, you know. Uh, Mike Smith, we need Big Daddy Hey Play a Sound Drops. We, I mean, we have many. It's, Big do we still Daddy have the, Hey Play a Sound Drops. We have them. Big Daddy Magic sends me videos on a daily basis. And it, it's very interesting that he does. Uh, San Diego State Glenn. Held to the no on the NCAA tournament expansion. Now playing on Sundays. Thank you. Uh, thanks for the five seed BYU. Seriously, Glenn. In God's name, image, and likeness. BYU probably wins a game or two if they would if they had been a five seed. Yeah. But again, when you are built on the LDS church, you should never play a game on Sunday. We built this program on NIL. It's the facts and the reality of the situation. Yeah. Yeah. It is what it is, right? No way around that, really. John DeLon. Uh, I think we need to expand the NCAA tournament to 512 teams. <laughs> Good luck filling out a bracket on that one. Well, Susie Sewing Circle Institute of Female Bravery uh, going head-to-head -head with Ted's uh, electrical tradesmanship. Oh, shit. Online course. Um well, Monty, you, you really should pick Oki State here for the 487th seed because their hot dogs are really good and the stadium's really nice. So when they go out and they play some basketball, it's going to be good. But I don't know how you pick against. I don't know how you pick against West Virginia. They not only do they have the cleanest coal I've ever seen for my charcoal briquettes, uh, but they also have these unbelievable thick sliced butter, uh, you know, cucumbers, which used to be pickles, but I call them cucumbers because that's what we do here in Stoolwater. The cock. I feel better. Uh, Chad Carter, good morning. That's not it. Uh, good morning. I have to go uh, to my kid's school this morning. A kid injured my daughter in first grade, and the school failed to notify me. Cue Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Chad Carter. <laughs> so let me get this right. Your kid got injured in first grade, and the school wasn't thinking, well, our first call should probably be to Stone Cold Chad Carter because his daughter is injured. 
See, and this is the thing I don't understand. And then when you go to the school and you're like, hey, you stupid. Hey, um, Mrs. Principal, I, I, I know I'm new to this whole um, take care of your kids the right way thing. Um, why didn't you call me? They don't have a good answer. So when they give you a chicken shit answer and you're like, no, I mean, I just meant I'm her father. Why wouldn't you call and say that my daughter is injured? And then they're like, well, you don't have to, you don't have to be incredulous about it. There's no reason to raise your voice. And his name is John C. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, I know you can't see me because I'm waving my hand in front of my face. And that's face. why you didn't call me. And that's why you didn't call me. There's no good answer for this. And this is Chad. This is going to be one of those situations where you're going to go there and they're going to be like, look, I don't know what, you don't have to get so upset about it though. I don't. I'm for real. How do, you not, how do you not? How do you not? It, 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 my, my, it, so how bad was it though? Like nine o'clock in the morning, my kid is injured and I don't know about it. And every minute I don't know about it is a minute that action's not being taken for my child's betterment. Y'all feel me? So is there, I, I would like to see the policy and writing in the employee handbook of your school that says what you do when a kid get injured. Cause I got to believe paramedics one dad two. Not procrastinate and wonder how bad the injury won. Don't do anything to. Oh, we'll put some ice on it, sweetheart. You'll be fine. <laughs> okay. I'd lose my mind. I would lose my mind. Robert Fowler. I have to admit, the Virginia basketball is like Iowa football. T-shirts were classic. Can't hide from the truth. Well, Iowa football. We need to stop saying that Iowa plays football. They don't. They play defense. <laughs> That's because they don't. Right, they don't have an offense. They're actually their safety is a punter. So when they hold you on third down, they kick off, you catch it, and then the safety just stands back there. They snap it to him in Iowa and he just punts it right back to you. Because yeah, Iowa doesn't have offense. Right. It's it's not even a it's, it's not tough. even a wee fence. You know. It's How about, defense. Look at Dakota. Dakota what? What he do? Oh, okay. Sorry, Dakota. I was just, I was trying to figure out, you know, are we able to play sound drops or are you too busy listening to Putin? Well, you, sir, should worry about yourself. And because I can tell you right now, Big Daddy Magic would still be looking for that sound drop. Okay, let's move on. Dakota, yeah. appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Mike Smith. Uh, great job, Dakota Tubbs. Yes, great job. Dakota. Lil Jizzy, I love how YouTube restarts the show Everyone an ad pops up, which is about every five minutes. I have no control over that. Yeah. And we and 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 we looked in the settings and they don't give us options. They Just don't. Saying. You know, like you have options for other things, but they don't. YouTube premium is the way to go. Avoid all the damn commercials. Worth the money if you watch YouTube uh way too much like me. Exactly. Agreed. Right. Yeah, agreed. Pepperoni rolls are a big thing if you go to Morgantown. Decent snack, but highly overrated by West Virginia. You sound like a big Arby's guy, dude. You big Arby's guy? I, I got to be honest with you. I might be on a, and Mrs. Monty will will probably <laughs> string, string my ass up from a yard arm for this. The baguette pizzas that we got from Costco, they're amazing. Margarita baguette pizza. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what you say about it. I don't even know what you say about that. It, it's, it's amazing. I'm glad you like it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Big blue horses. If we aren't getting the best 68 teams now, how will expansion fix that? It's just more chances for the committee That's to screw it up. precisely the point. I would agree with that. Hour number two of the Monty show brought to you by our good friends at big O tires in American fork, your total car care experts. Hi, my name is Ryan at big O tires at American fork. Uh, we're sponsoring Jake Retzlaff right now with the interview at the Monty show filters, struts, shocks, brakes, lifts, um, you need to replace your motor, transmission, anything you need in your car, we do here at Big O Tires and American Fork. We offer 12 months no interest financing, and we make sure you get taken care of. Whether you're a BYU fan or not, we will take care of you. If you have any questions, once again, my name is Ryan. Give me a call at 801-756-6000. Uh, we'll give you all your quotes and needs. Uh, we can do it over the phone, and we do price match guarantees. So give us a call and let us earn your business. We do price match guarantees. 
They're going to take care of your wants and needs. I love that guy. Uh, but did, did you hear what he said? They have 12-month financing. Yes. So if you have a significant issue, you heard Ryan, R Ryan there talking about replacing motors. And hey, if you have a transmission issue and maybe you can't fix that, or if you have a major auto repair and it's, it's going to cause financial strain, talk to Ryan about it, man. He's got a financing program for you uh, to give you the ability to get your car back on the road running safely so that you can get to work, so that you can get to the grocery store, you can do what you need to do, um, all while being you know, able to afford fixing that car um, with a financing program from Big O Tires and American Fork. Hook it up. Make sure you tell me to you heard about it on the Monty Show. Uh, look at that. Hey, hey, UW Fan Jim gives away one Monty Show membership. So we are at 40 now. 10 from Harry Austin, 10 from Pete Forte, 20 from Dakota Tubbs, and one from UW Fan Jim. Now, y'all remember what went down last week. Uh, who who was it? Uh, I can't remember the name of the, the that, that account. I can't, remember, can't remember the name, but they gave away 50 memberships in one swing. So we're at 41. We like to get to 100 every Friday. Who's going to be the big fish in the pond today? Who's it going to be, my friends? We will, uh, here in about 40 minutes, 42 minutes, give away a $50 Amazon gift card. And if we get to 100, we'll do 100. But what I'm going to say is we're at 40 now. So if it ended today, we're at 41. We give away a $40 yeah. Amazon gift card. If we get to 100 memberships given away, we'll give away a $100, $100. Amazon gift card. $100. Because we appreciate you so much for supporting the show. Um, let's see where are we at on likes. Uh, we are at 83 likes. Okay, we got to get to 100 likes today. We're in prime position. We got plenty, plenty of time. Like we on. have in total right now, uh, 397 people watching the show. So you guys, um, it's as simple as this. Come on, if you're if you're watching on Twitter, if you're watching on Twitch, if you're watching on Facebook, come over to YouTube. Subscribe to the show. Hit the like button. Do it. Okay. Uh, we need 15 likes in the next. Do we do 60 seconds again? Sure. All right. Let's do. Let's do 60 seconds. On the clock. Right now. If we get 14 likes in the next 60 seconds, we'll give away a $50. $50 Amazon gift card. And now look at the likes coming in. Dakota Tubbs giving away 20 more. Let's go. That's 40. That's 40 right there from Dakota Tubbs. Mike Smith gifting a Monty Show membership. Welcome to the Nightmare gifting a Monty Show membership. Let's go, baby. Wear it out. You guys, that is 20, 40. That is 63. That is 63 memberships. Given away. So we'll give away a $60 Amazon gift card. In 20 seconds, we need, oh, you guys, we need 11 on, more likes through, in 20 through. seconds. Hit the like button. Come on. We're not going to make it. 10 more 10 likes. 10 more. Come on. 10 seconds. We need 10 more likes. Let's go. 10 more likes. We're not going to make it. I'll just, there it is. Right. Um, we didn't make, we um, came up 10 likes short. Um, That's okay. Look at all the people picking up the memberships. Yeah, you guys did well on memberships. Look though. at all the people picking up the memberships. Scott Schrader, good to see you. James McCann, Lance Butters, same James, Lauren Miller, Go Balance, Charles, Edward Wilson. Good to see all of you getting the hookup. Uh, we're at 93. Damn. We'll, we'll try this again in 10 minutes. We'll try this again. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Good job on giving friday yeah definitely enough butter for all the toast there let's go uh uw fan jim i'm poor still have kids in the house okay that's fine uh free shipping to my garage 25 dollars a tire to balance and mount okay 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 i like it rjc man says i buy my tires off of amazon okay okay See, dude i am telling you the best tire and i got it from ryan at big o tires the cross climate two from Michelin, that's on my 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 Jeep. Now the new Beamer, the M, uh, the X two M. I'm gonna have to get new. I'm gonna 
probably wind up in cross climate twos uh, on the Beamer as well. But I'm not a Pirelli guy at all. Nah. I am not a Pirelli guy. Nah. Um, let's see. See me on on the big screen. Damn it. Now I have to go to Costco this weekend. Dude, every weekend. I, 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 I'm in this thing right now before we get to sports and all that other stuff. I'm in this little groove now where I try to go to the grocery store and Costco one time. That's it. Saturday or Sunday, Mrs. Monty and I will load up the family Beamer. And that's so awkward. We'll load up the family Beamer and we'll go to Costco in Harmons one time. That's it. And we'll get all our food for the week. She made this unbelievable soup yesterday. Gas. Absolute gas. Absolute gas. RJC, man, pepperoni roll is decent, overrated, but still good option on a cold morning. Yeah. Mm. Uh, pepperoni anything is terrible. Yeah. Terrible. RJC, man, dude, I just killed the shitter. My dog gave me the dirtiest look ever, and I'm not ashamed. Okay, bro, you are. What are you, okay. us? Like, <laughs> I know you did not just comment. That you're watching the show from the crapper. You know. It's fine. Um, It's fine. All right. Let's see. James says, uh, do not replace Jake. He's cool. I've seen Northwestern. We'll do a video once they restart construction on the new Ryan Field. (laughs) (laughs) James, that and that is your life. What? No, no video on the shower stalls or what? OG Gary, good morning. Sada, Sada, dude. Sada. Sada, dude. He says toilet squat. <laughs> don't, dude. Please don't do this to the show. <laughs> team lean or team squat? <laughs> so I'm considering getting a, a, a butthole sprayer. I'm considering it. Why? I'm considering getting a bidet. You're going to go away from the butt wipe life. A bidet is much more environmentally friendly. And anytime I can, I can get a little, <coughs> a little, uh, <coughs> extra octane back there. I mean, big oil change guy, huh? You know, uh, it's just <laughs> more, it's more sanitary, Uh huh. you know, and okay, I, for all my bidet people, when you spray your butthole out, you, do you then wipe, wipe to dry? Is that what happens here? See, the problem is you got to stop wiping. You got to pat. It's pat, the pat is what. Oh, you it's want. patting your butthole now. Okay, it, the, so you, we've all had that. Hugh Janus. This is so awkward. We've all had that moment where you've got the dude wipe in your hand. Yeah, and the finger axi- a- accidentally <laughs> hits the perfect spot. You know, and all of a sudden you're prostate examining. <laughs> It happens to the worst of us. <laughs> and if you're Jake, it's not an accident. Oh it's a way that you God, do things. Oh, my God, dude. You know. You're prostate examining. <laughs> Toilet team, assemble, giggity. <laughs> a crapper reference without the echoing fart drop. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Mike Smith, team toilet. Dude wipes kill it. I like dude wipes. My wife likes dude wipes. The Kirkland wipes are pretty good, though, too. They are. Joshua Moe says team bidet. Are we all team bidet? Is that what we've turned into? I've never had the opportunity to use a bidet. Not ever? Not ever. Never. Not once. I'm being serious. Oh, wow. Okay. Monty is very European. Look at his new car and his new future ass. Well, I'm telling you. (laughs) RJC man, buy dude wipes, best invention ever. They are good. They are good. Uh, watching the showgram from the crapper is an upgrade from how West Virginia, uh, how Virginia played. Booty washing is too. <laughs> <laughs> OG Gary, I'm a bidet and pat dry guy. But see, when you pat dry, are you using toilet paper or are you using a dude wipe? That's what I'm trying to understand. How does this work? Yeah. And do you still flush? Do you understand how uncultured you are? How am I uncultured, dude? I, I, just because I don't live the life of, you know, butthole sprayers? <laughs> like, like, how does that make me uncultured? But you're so awkward about the back door. You won't even like... The back door. Listen, if you're not spraying that thing out in the shower, if you're... <laughs> this is the pee in the shower thing. You Everybody this. pees in the shower, but you don't want to talk about it. Well, I'm not talking about that, Monty. Okay. Go in hiding. 
be awkward. I'm yeah, telling I'm you. Talking about that. I am telling you. I drop the garden hose and the water comes out in the shower. It happens. It happens. Right? I I I. I but how does it make me uncultured that <laughs> I haven't had the opportunity to use a bidet? Because it's no different than spraying it out in the shower, dude. <laughs> I'm still trying to get an answer on when you use a bidet and it sprays your butthole out. Yes, you pat it dry. But then do you flush that? Yes. So how is it more environmentally friendly? Because you're using toilet paper instead of a, a, a butt wipe. Okay, so you are using toilet paper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to confirm. Because you get all of the the yeah. you get all the Frankfurters off the rim, and you know, there ain't no oh. dingleberries happening here. <laughs> you know, that that's... was a masterpiece of dog shit. Yeah. Uh, Giggity says, get that bidet, toilet paper. Caleb, do you sit or stand? I am team stand. No, nah, you got to sit, dude. We've See, had and this. And that's going to come to an end, Caleb, too, because if you're using a bidet, you have to sit. Yeah. So it's team stand is over if you're going to do a bidet. I, which I'm fine with. You make the, you you see, you make the, uh, the unconscionable error of assuming that I am team stand because it's like some kind of moral judgment. Yeah, who it's are you? not. Clemson it's it's what unconscionable. It's what real people do. They stand up to wipe their ass. Like that's what normal human beings are about. You know, I, I mean, um, that's just how this game is played. Right. Uh, did two holes uh, just ask if you still flush? He did. <laughs> but this is also the guy you know. who doesn't use air freshener. Yes, I do. It's not my fault the nukes I drop are ripe, okay? That's not my fault. Mike Smith, J2H going therapy session to help with his bathroom issues. Yeah, he needs it, Well, Mike. I'm just trying to understand for all these, you know, affluent one percenters who use bidets, mm. you know, like, why? Because it's healthier. It's better. It's healthier. It is way healthier. Do you, do you know how bad raking your fingernail across your brown eye is for your i mean are you kidding me you can't tell me you're like okay soft supple touch at the rim here no you are absolutely the guy that uses like a metal rake to clean your butt that's who you're like uh give it to me that's how you are it, a bidet is how it is supposed to be uh-huh it is bad to rake the Wow, Dad. Wow. Be gentle. Uh, Dakota Tubbs. Two holes is just trying to protect his most important hole. Yeah. Yeah. Like Costanza says, it's all pipes. Okay. You don't think it's all pipes. James needs to see Husky Stadium. No, he doesn't. Well, Monty, Monty, we got to get on the, We got to get on uh, Monty yeah, Jet, I mean, you yeah. know, 69. Look, Roma Dunze. It wasn't built in the day, but when it was, he ran that go route down the sideline faster than anybody else. Hey, look here, man. We call it the greatest setting in college, but he is the guru. It is not close to the greatest setting in college football. Husky Stadium is not close. OG Gary, I love how we re-spark the toilet debate again. Well, when you start talking about bidets, that's going to happen. Team lean, light a match. That's what I'm saying, Preston. That's my guy right there. See? 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 <laughs> <laughs> RJ Seaman, wait till Jake's girlfriend starts exploring. Oh, it's coming, dude. You're in for some real questions of yourself. Okay. That's too much. John DeLon, you just need a Subaru in a regular toilet to make it through. <laughs> <laughs> the funny thing is, uh, all Subarus are regular toilets. <laughs> Katie Raider. Most of the world uses bidets, just not popular here because we are. Are you being serious? Yes. Most of the world uses bidets. How? Like, I'm no longer responsible. He's a fucking adult. I am no longer responsible <laughs> okay, for the vomit that comes out of his. Do you know how uncultured you are? Dude, all I know how to do is sit down on the pot. And you burn a deuce, you bro. need to have sex with a French woman. <laughs> You need to have sex with a French woman. I am convinced. You might be the most uncultured mf -er I have ever met. U.S. Americans. People have bidets in your... <laughs> what? From that Cincinnati. They show dick and balls on statues in Rome? <laughs> what? This is fucking America. Like, have you ever left the house? No. I took you to Europe, you idiot. Yeah, for like a weekend. 
It's not like I saw the oh. entire continent. I, it was only a weekend, <laughs> Monty. Maybe next time, make it a week or a month, and I'll be cultured. This is your fault, not mine. <laughs> You're damn right it oh is. Oh, my God. Stop but it. But seriously, you can't, you can't it. seriously be making the assertion that spending one weekend for a soccer match means that I should know that people use bidets in Europe. Come on. Caleb. <laughs> Caleb. Okay, so for those who sit down, you wipe from the front or the back. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly the conversation we've had on this show. You never pull forward. Well, Jake does, but you never. You don't pull Jake forward, Jake is a dude. back to front no. guy. He no, is 100%. Nah, dude. Mo oh. Those of us, again, those of us that are cultured. <laughs> Are a, so we don't have to worry about that because we just spray our butthole with a garden hose. It's front to it, it is front to back. You don't put the balls in danger. You don't. You're not dipping the balls in mud here, right? <laughs> Unless you're uncultured, Jimmy. His cock. <laughs> just go to go the Asian way, team. Put a hole in the floor and bend over. <laughs> wow, Bohika. <laughs> Bro, whatever happened to you when you did that nickel upstate, it's fine. Uh, Wasikowski, Monty too lazy to wipe his butt. Yes, that's, that's what, what it is. is. Yep, you figured it out. Wow. Well, and I'm sure your your you know your your toilets made in Texas, and that's what makes it you know American made. Aren't you the smart one, Kim Coulter? My wife is listening to the show for the first time. You should see the look on her face. <laughs> <laughs> Does she is she a is she a team stand or team sit and lean? Well, women don't poop, so we, that's a dumb. My bad, my bad, bad yeah. dumb Come question, on, dumbass question. Uh, pull your bootstraps up and wipe your butt. No, I, I do. Okay, yeah, I what okay, that awkward which, guy. Which which crapper are you considering converting into a bidet? The downstairs one, the upstairs no, one. No, because I'm not going to let you use in my house. Not you're not using to use my the bidet, no. dude. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yeah, that, you're, you're as you, Jake is that guy who's like, well, I'm not telling you just because Reese's are my favorite, oh. I'm not telling you to get Reese's, but you should get Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> you think I don't see that coming a mile away? Well, honey, I'm just saying if you put them. Like, you know, <laughs> put the crapper, the, the bidet sprayer butthole oh, prostate my. checker thing in the in the bathroom that I have access to. Not because I have access to it and I'm, cur I, and I'm butthole curious, which I am, but that's not why you should put it. And it's in the bathroom. It, you know, it's just, internal. yeah, do all these things for me because I won't do it myself because I'm uncultured and I don't leave the house. I... So is you that what, so the upstairs one? I live in a barn down by the river. Yes, I'm putting it upstairs. <laughs> well, if you take me to Europe, I'll go. Fucking A. You know, Japanese rule the bathroom toilets. They seriously do. Giggity. There are more than chicken burritos at Mexican restaurants. <laughs> Question mark. Wait, you mean, now hold on, hold on. No, no, no. You no, we went to a Mexican more? place in Wait, Phoenix last weekend. I thought all dude, all Mexican people <laughs> ate chicken burritos. Are you saying that tacos are actually no, tell real? Tell the truth, though. Tell the tacos truth. Tacos are not Who real. Did chicken, chicken burrito, burrito last me. weekend, dude. Chicken tell burritos the truth, bro. are a core nutritional staple. <laughs> tell the truth of those of us that are team lean. Tell we the lean truth. over, and then the beans from the burrito come out. What's up, big bro? <laughs> Did I? I was not the one who got a chicken burrito last week. I peer weekend. pressured you into getting tacos. I would agree with that. No. Dude. We went to a place called Taco Guild in Phoenix, and Jake was going to order a chicken burrito. No, I was not. Because dude. I, I had told him, because Bro. he ordered a chicken burrito at Mastro's in Las Vegas no, last I time didn't. We were there. No, I didn't. And they were nice enough to tell him to get the fuck out. Dude, I did not do so that, So I Bro. told them, hey, listen. Why don't you fuck off? If you're... You're going to go to Masters and order a chicken burrito. This guy. No. Uh, it, it, no. My point is, you would go to Taco Guild in Phoenix, one of the finest taco houses in the country, and he wanted to order a chicken burrito. But I told him this place is about tacos. You're going to order tacos. Y'all reading all this cap ass shit. So he ordered tacos. Not going to mention the fact that that never happened. And the yeah, cousin, I, I lied. The I made the that cousin, up on Hondo P. The cousin was the one who ordered the chicken burrito. Not me. But you thought about it. 
Well, yeah, it's on the menu. Of course you think about it. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. Get a chicken burrito when you go to Filiberto's. No. Okay? That's when you get a chicken burrito. You don't get a chicken burrito at a taco house. Mm -hmm. No? You understand the ingredients on a taco are the same as a burrito. The tortilla is just smaller. Right. But it's also called a burrito. And it's also called a taco. And those of us that have crapped on a bidet in Europe... We eat tacos. Because shit's going good. And when we go to steakhouses, we don't ask them if they have chicken tenders. Okay? I I don't know what tenders are. I asked for tendies. (laughs) Oh, RJC, man. Little Jazzy Djibouti. Little Jazzy, good morning. Uh, Big Daddy Magic. Hey, playa. Yes, we are a circus as Victor's the wand. He'll get laid by French women and he'll be cultured. Okay. I mean, drug use in the morning is perfectly acceptable in some people's lifestyles. And cultures. Uh, Sean McBride, reason the rest of the world uses bidet, they have had bad plumbing and can't handle toilet paper. Truth. Yeah. Truth. Uh, Butt wipes are not good for your sewer system. OG Gary, confirmed. Jake has never left the U.S. The U.S.? He's never left the state of Utah. Yes, I have. Never. Do you know how many Mormon girls he has broken their hearts because he would not commit? He is, he is not team salamander over here. Okay. Let's move on. That got awkward. Mike Smith, bidets in the metric system. Fuck that. Merca. <laughs> <laughs> the metric. Can I have a Royale with cheese? Please? Look at the big brain on bread. Uh, most of the world. How did we get on this? Okay, okay, dude. Most Seriously. of the world is lucky and has indoor plumbing. Correct. Correct. Wait, wait. You, do you pee in the shower? Yeah. You're disgusting. Uh, Mike. Yeah, we're not making any changes. Don't make the ball sack the mud flap. Wipe from the front to back. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Don't say it like, see, you admitted up here on this show. No, I did not. That you're dude. a back to front no, puller. I did not. That you are a back no, to front no, mud puddle. No. Yes, you are. No, I did not. Okay. No, nope. you're going to deny it. That never happened, dude. You'd up fan Jim. Yes. Uh, RJC man, dude. Only time it's front it first is when the balls get sprayed. Okay. It's always front to back. Never back to front ever. That, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Caleb Williams just said on Twitter that if the bears draft him, the first thing he's buying with his contract money is a bidet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Keith Carl, uh, came here for NCAA talk, got the poo talk instead. Great morning for me. (laughs) Dakota Tubbs, Monty, you need to get yourself a Toto washlet from our favorite irritated Asians, the Japanese. Uh, Aren't they the ones that make Chevys? Uh, Nothing is better than sitting on that heated seat on a cold day. (sighs) My wife really wants a bidet and I want her to have one. I'm, I'm, I am... I'm going to have a plumber come and install it. And I'm, I don't, I want, would my wife be happy if I got a bidet? I don't know. We should ask her. I don't know if she, if she would approve bidet, team bidet. I don't know. Uh, Monty, uh, take Jake on a European vacation, but who are you uh, taking to be Jake's fake, fake sister? The vacation movies had a boy and a girl in a huge wagon. Bro, I don't know what type of stuff you on, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what? RJC, man, Japan has that whole torpedoes away. Th- okay. Oh, oh, Gary, what is wrong with you guys today? It's easy to deduce. The master bedroom gets the bidet first. <laughs> Duh. I like how this turned into a math equation. Uh, little Jizzy, legalized tuggies. Isn't that, (laughs) are you talking about a happy ending? Uh, RJC man, soft or hard tacos? Wow. Soft. Can you at just one time get an answer right? Nobody likes soft tacos. We eat them because you only eat soft tacos because they don't (laughs) offer hard shells. Okay. I guess I like soft tacos a lot. I do. Sorry. Wow. Oh, wow. Mountain mama. 
get a bidet. Uh, hard taco is always soft taco is just a small burrito. <laughs> <laughs> No, go ahead. Bro, I never thought of a taco like that, but that's awesome. <laughs> you did, you dick face. <laughs> no, because I you said, you. Hey, hey, Monty, do you realize that a taco is the same ingredients? It's just smaller than a burrito. You said that. Right, but I didn't. it didn't cross my mind that when I ordered a taco, I was like, yeah, this is just a mini burrito. That's not what I was thinking. No other choice, huh? <laughs> I don't. I am not a man of violence. Uh huh. I am not beyond caving in your skull well, for some of the stupid things. I never thought about it that way. Do you even, know what that's like? Even days? though that's exactly what I said. Oh boy. Even though that's. <laughs> even though that's exactly what I said, I never thought about it that way. Yeah, Monty. Tanner and I were hanging out playing vids the other night. And I never thought about it that way. Do you know what that's like these days? Although street tacos are the bomb, they are. Uh, Caleb, look, Texas Roadhouse has some good teddies. If you got bought, brought along for the meal, even though you're not feeling some steak, I don't know what a teddy. Dude, what are you? What are you like? Bro, James, what are you talking about? Are you man? sure that it, that's beef or chicken in your taco? Have you ever seen? St Bro, why? RJC man. Got a white balls after violent event. Stop it, Monty. No. So you're you basically have said that you're crapping yourself as you watch the show. Is that what we've deduced, as Gary would say? The pro you know what the issue is? M my wife cooks now. So she made this unbelievable vegetable soup yesterday. What do I eat for breakfast every day? I eat a cup of of whole oats. I don't have events where my balls are involved with my shit. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Do, what is? Do you understand? If you are constantly, if you are constantly projectile pooping, <laughs> something's wrong. Something's go to the doctor. Something's wrong. Like, I'm I'm talking about, I, dude. No. Uh, Eric Wasikowski, swear to God, this show is just therapy for these two. Yeah, you're exactly right. You're just figuring that out. Uh, Jake admitted he wipes back to front, and I said Rome is a speedster. It's exactly right. See? That's exactly right. DeLon, I think you need a French plumber to install a bidet. We will find one. We will find one. Yeah. Dakota Tubbs, we need Mrs. Monty's input on the show now. This must be settled, unlike my intestinal tract. Mrs. Monty won't lower herself to our level to join the show. And she took offense. She has told me she will never appear on the show again because Eric Wasikowski offends too many people on How a daily that? basis. Yeah. That's what she said. Chapter and verse. The wheels have, haven't come off, but they are shaking real bad, Joshua Mode says. They are. Uh, RJC Man says food poisoning. Ooh. Caleb Alamore, I meant tendies. Autocorrect at it again. Yeah. Soft is the way. Flour or corn is the question. Uh, Cam says soft tacos are good. It's always corn, right? I think. Jimmy Autzen. You got to move to a state that has good street tacos, dude. I've had awesome street tacos. Arizona, if there's better street tacos in Arizona, I don't know. I don't know where that would be. And... I'll also say Arizona is wildly overrated for Mexican food and golf, but the, yeah, I mean, you know, but the street, the food truck, street taco game unparalleled. Yeah. Unparalleled. Um, Dakota, when it splashes back, uh, no, nope. Bull blaster 3000. <laughs> Real many buckwheat groats for breakfast. No buckwheat. Okay. Okay. R O mother F and L I'm saying John Delon domesticated females look down on the internet people. They do. My wife is highly cultured. She's, she's taking me to the symphony tonight. I am going to the symphony tonight and I'm excited about it. You and she bought me tickets and we're going and I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm going to go in torn jean shorts and cowboy boots without <laughs> socks. Cowboy but, hat? No. Stop. 
I'd be all hat, no cattle at that point. Right. Right. Yeah. No, I'm looking forward to it. I am actually excited about it. Uh, street tacos is where it all uh, starts. Tastes so good, but I know what's coming. Street tacos are amazing. Do they uh, have bidets at the symphony? I believe they do. <laughs> I believe they do. Roach coach is not just the nickname, but it's the one you go to. I, I don't, RJ C man, where do you live? First of all, second of all, I don't, I don't eat at food trucks often. I I'm eating out less and less and less, right? Like somebody sent us donuts the other day. Dude, those were so good. They were really good, oh. but we don't eat donuts very, we eat donuts once a year, maybe. Yeah. Right. Like I, when I eat out now, it's not McDonald's, right? Like it's, I don't know what we'll eat tonight. I'm hoping sushi tonight, but I haven't had good sushi in too long. But I'm ready for it. Yeah. He lives in Alexandria, Virginia. Virginia. Go to DC and get some tacos. Uh, you don't need an actual bidet, just get a toto. Ooh. What's a toto? Um, European, I don't know. Five dollars from James. European vacation movie. I know it was it was the awkward fake sister part. Uh, Monty is Clark. Mrs. Monty is the cool wife. You have Jake, but you need a gal to be the daughter in a big wagon. I trust me. No, nope. Uh, toasted corn shells is the way to go for tacos. Very yeah. good. Very, very good. Uh, Dakota, the bidet at the symphony, shoot water in tune with the music. It's an experience for your brown eye. What are you, the fountains at the Bellagio? The Bellagio. Are you kidding me? All right. Well, since we're on this topic, let's talk about uh, the fact that I'm going to win a billion dollars tonight. Yeah, a billion doll hairs. Are you guys playing the Mega Millions? Yeah, how are you not? Come on. Come on. Mrs. Monty sent me a... Uh, I almost said ping. Mrs. Monty sent me a text the other day. And it simply said, when are we going to Evanston? Or when are we going to Wyoming? I think it said. Right. Which is code for the Mega Millions or the Powerball is massive. We got to go get tickets. Turn this thing up. We're out of here. Because I live in this really good conservative state where we're not allowed to have the lottery. Empty. The opposite of full. So I have to drive to Evanston, Wyoming while listening to loud rock music. In the beam. And in the beam. And I'm going to go spend a hundred bucks on mega millions tickets. Yeah. And I'm going to win and I'm going to win. And I think that no matter what, if we get to 115 likes in the next 60 seconds, you'll win too. 115 likes. It's just 13 more likes and we'll give away a $25 Amazon gift card starting right now. Hit the like button. Do it. If we get to 115, Come on. There's 103. If we get to 115 in the next 60 seconds, I'll give it away. My point is, are you guys going to play the Mega Millions? Do you believe in playing the lottery? I do believe in playing the lottery. I absolutely do. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, like, in our situation, I like playing the lottery simply because the drive is nice, you know? and it's Oh, a, so it's... you're going to go on the drive today? Well, no, because I have a piece of business I have to handle because you guys are saying, hey, I got to go get it done. Per Classic Jake story. Last time we did this, we're not going to make it. You guys, come on. 105. We've picked up two likes and 40. I'm just going to turn it off. You don't yeah, deserve this shit. embarrassing, dude. Um, so last time the lottery was huge. <laughs> I like how you're like classic Jake story. Classic Jake story. <laughs> Go up to Evanston, buy a bunch of tickets. Yeah. We're driving back, Jake and I. Man, just fan. You know how you fantasize about what you would do if you won the lottery. And Jake's like, "Yeah, you would give me like fifty million. You you would scratch me off some, bro." He just assumes because I won the lottery. Does his broke ass play the lottery? Will he spend his own money to play the lot? No. But I spent my own money and I win the lottery. And he's like, "Yeah, I expect you to give me like fifty million dollars." Well, because it's family. So you just, I should just give yes, you $50 million. Yes. You, you should take care of the people that are closest to you. Yes. Yeah, you should. So I win, let's say we win 900 million in the power, in the mega millions. And you take home 500. Okay. We walk away with 500 million. I'm just supposed to give you 50 million. Of yeah. It. Just take. <laughs> 
Yes. Fucking hand it to you. Yes. No. Yes. No. No. You know what I would do? I would open up a million dollar high high interest bearing savings account for you. I'm not giving you fifty million dollars. Why should I do that? Because you would do every, that for me. Yes, I would. We spend every day together. We work together. We do everything together. And now you're you're going to be you're going to be selfish about it. I would. I listen. I would. Absolutely, I would take care of you. I would not. Give Don't you give me this nonsense. Million. About, oh yeah, hey man, I'm going to open up a high interest savings account. I would. Like I'm some college child. But do you understand? See, that's the problem. You're you're uncultured. If I put a million dollars into a five percent, saying uh, a five percent interest bearing account. You'll never want for anything ever yeah, again. In like 20 years. No. Yeah. Why in 20 years? Because I don't have access to that. You, yeah, you, you do. You give me access to that? Yeah, you do. Okay. Do you understand? Like, oh my God. Do you understand how small the percentage of $1 million is when you've won 500? Do you understand how big the percentage of 50 million is? <laughs> like, it's it's not even the money. The money's not the thing. Because I would obviously I would buy you a house. I would buy you a car. Like I would make sure that you were debt free. Absolutely. But I'm not just going to hand you fifty million dollars. Mm. Okay. And you think I should do that? I do. Okay. In the comments section, John Delon, uh, fifty million could buy a lot of Subaru. Yeah, dude. I need to change the world here. Come on, Jimmy Otson. Give him the money, Shohei. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, come on. Come on, dude. I'm not the interpreter. Oh, that's, that's Keith, a great pull. Keith Jimmy. Carl, 500 million could buy a lot of bidets. Look, RJC man, Jake is your interpreter. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot. Quote unquote interpreter. Uh, nah, pay off Jake's house, but not 50 million. Not 50. Okay, Harry, I see how it's not. Dakota Tubbs, Shohei, go on, take the money and run. Oh, loud. Shohei, take the money and run. I I would certainly do, I, you would not want, but I'm not handing you a lump sum of 50 million. Mm -hmm. That's asking for trouble. You're going to wind up getting a bunch of Russian chicks off the internet. You're going to, it's just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're going to be like, well, bro, you gave me 50 million. You got 50 million more. What's the problem? No, you have 450 Rashmana, million more. Rosh Monica needs a new diamond necklace. I don't think you'd buy Rush. No, no, that's just the I outrageous thing that I came to mind. Uh, let's see. UW fan Jim Jake will get it someday anyway. He will. But that's why I'm saying like, I, I would much rather. I would much rather not give him the money, but support his lifestyle. So then I can hold him under my thumb. Yeah. And <laughs> that's right. T. Cause that's what you're thinking. Well, I mean, there's no other, there's no other, you know, how you, much money would, is reasonable in all, in all seriousness, all seriousness, jokes aside, I like, went, I walk away with 500 million. How much do I have to give you? Um, a couple mil would be nice. Yeah. Cause then at a couple mil, you can, you can do the, the, the saving account thing and that's great. And that will help you build wealth. And then you can take the other two million and oh now it's three million. A couple mil, whatever the number Let's is. Let's say two. I would I would give you two million. Okay. I would million. I would put I would put a million dollars. I would find them a vehicle. Like I would put a million dollars in a money market account. Yeah, and I agree for the record, I agree with those strategies. I'm not saying those are dumb. Those are absolutely what you should be doing. I would I would take the million dollars. Yeah. And I would put it in some kind of money making account I, I think when you win the lottery or you come into any type of money on that level you, you have a responsibility to do that for yourself like, you need to what you have to do if you win you know the uh a mega millions and you're walking away because i'm taking the cash sorry 100 percent. if i'm walking away with 500 i am going to put a significant chunk of that out of my own reach and if that's a hundred million i am going to put that hundred million into something that continues to grow for me, yeah. right? Because if you have a million dollars and you put it in a high interest bearing savings account, you'll never want for anything again. The problem people get into is they buy hundred thousand dollar cars. Yeah, I'm not that guy. I'm happy. I would. I would likely get. I would likely get myself. I, I would not have. I don't have debt. I don't carry credit card debt or 
I would pay off every piece of debt that I have. So my mortgage and my cars, I would buy myself a really nice car and I would buy, I would buy a real estate portfolio. I would be, I would have a house uh, on the beach in, in Huntington beach. I would, I would probably have multiple houses around the world that make me money. And then I, you would never see me again. If I win the mega millions and I'm not here on Monday, you'll know I won the mega millions. Cause you'll never see me. <laughs> I won't tell anyone, but there will be signs. <laughs> you'll know without knowing. Cause yeah. you'll never hear from me. You'll never see me on social media. You will never see me on Twitter again. Yeah. God, that would be the best thing in the world. And I would absolutely yeah. live life to its fullest. You would, yeah, it would, my job would be to play golf, work out and travel with my wife. That would be it. That'd be my entire life. Yeah. And I would manage a real estate portfolio. That's it. I, I, I'm not, I, but here's the other thing. I'm not taking care of everybody and their brother. Oh. With all due respect, I am not it, it, like, I'm not, I'm not the guy who's going to be like, Hey, I won the lottery. Here's 50 million for you. I'm just not that dude. I would give you a really nice wedding gift. I would do X, Y, or Z for you. Hey, your car's broken down. Sure. Don't call me. If I don't know you, if we're not at least blood relatives, don't even ask. Because the other thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change my fucking phone number. Cause yeah. you're never, you're never calling. I'm never. Cause you, as soon as you win the mega millions, your phone just starts ringing with this charity and that charity and this guy and that guy. Yeah. But you bet your ass. I'm going to spend a hundred bucks on mega millions tickets today. Yeah. You can mark it down. I am doing that. And, and the other thing that I always get is people are like, well, I want to earn it myself. Okay. Let me know how that goes for you. I'll take the, I'll, I'll win the lottery. You go earn it yourself. Yeah. I, yeah. Be uh, I'm not going to judge I'm, you. I'm, yeah. I'll take the money. <laughs> Arlington Bears, where do you think I've been for the last eight months, man? I hope it's I hope that you have every dime that you've ever dreamed of, Chris Karn. Yeah, dude. Now that the Bears are on the lakefront. You popped up, bro. Where have you been? Seriously. Chris, good to see you. Yeah, now bro. that you're on the lakefront with the Bears, because Chris Karn owns the Chicago Bears. Um, you know, I'm trying to get on I am I'm trying to get on the waiting list for Bears season tickets. It is a it is a the guy I talked to at the Bears said it is a minimum of seven years you can expect to wait. Damn. To have access to Bears season tickets. That's wild. Uh, Chris Coulter or Kim Coulter, I give Tech a hundred million for NIL. No chance. No chance. Uh, John Ham, James would start a YouTube channel comparing EA Sports football stadiums to the actual stadiums. I believe he would. <laughs> I believe he would. <laughs> James says on Monday it's the James and Mike show brought to you by Big O Tires. Exactly right. Uh UW fan Jim, you who do you give more to? Jake or Notre Dame, our mother? I'm not giving a penny to Notre Dame. You're just, I'm telling you, I'm giving a penny to myself. I am going to build real estate portfolio. I am going to put some of that money away. I am going to go play golf in the best corners of the world. And I, I would, you know what I would probably do real estate wise? I would build a compound somewhere in the mountains in Utah. Yeah. Cause Utah is where you want to live. I love Utah. I, yeah. you know, that's, I would, I was going to say, that's what I would do. I would get land. I'd buy some land and yeah. build on it. Yeah. Um, and maybe we have the Monty DNA compound yeah. where, you know, we're all just chilling and Jake's house is, you know, a, a half a mile that way. And my house, I have a house, I have like a 2,500 square foot house with a 5,000 square foot barn garage. Um, you know, simulator, golf simulator. I have a little ADU. That's a golf simulator. <laughs> yes. Part three in the backyard. Oh, there's no doubt. I would have, I would have a golf extravaganza. I honestly would probably buy just enough land that you could build an actual driving range on it. Like, a. No, nah, I'd rather play a hole, a hole. Give me, I'd want two holes up for golf. I'd want two holes for well, golf. I, I'll show up anytime you want. Give me maybe. a par three. I know you would. Give me a par <laughs> three. I'd probably do what Jim Nance did, build the Pebble Beach par three. And I would, I would build a 600 yard par five. And I, you would just see me out there working all the time. 
I'd have a little area for a sand trap and chipping with a putting green. Yeah. I'd have, um, mm. it'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. That would be, mm. if you uh, had land like that, mm -hmm. what, what would be your, what would be your daily vehicle? Would you get like a Jeep or a truck or something just to, if I had land, you know, and you, cause when you have land, the thing you have to consider is that you're not going to pave your, you know, quarter mile driveway, right? If you're like, you know, you're, if you have land and you're off the road a little bit, you have a longer driveway, which typically is just dirt or rock or whatever, you know, whatever you decide it to be. Probably rock. You know, probably rock, right? Like compacted rock. I, I'd probably have like a, you know, I don't know, but like a Grand uh, Cherokee would be good. I'd or... probably have a Cayenne GT3. Uh, I would probably have. But you don't want to drive that every day. That's the thing. The no, but I would have, I would have several so like, cars. So we, we had this, we rented an Audi SQ8 last weekend. in Turroed it. Turroed it, yeah. And you were like, yeah, I'm not sure if I could daily this. Hmm. I don't think so. Don't think so. Yeah, I don't know. I liked it. I think I would have, I'd have a Cayenne. I might have, I don't know. I'm not a guy that wants to have like five cars. That's just not my thing. That's not my thing. I might have, I might have a side by side, you know, or a, I'd have a golf cart for my golf course. You know, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I'd have, I'd probably have a really nice Cayenne. Yeah. I would, I would have a really nice Cayenne. Yeah. That's what I would, that's what I'd be doing. Uh, Kim Coulter says Kauai. I'm going to Kauai in June. Can't wait. Uh, it would be a Caribbean Island. <laughs> okay. You could probably afford to buy Real Salt Lake money. No, I get taxpayer money to do that. Yeah. Uh, OG Gary, after buying assets, whatever is left, then buy a Turbo S and Lambos. I don't know about that. Not sure. Uh, hey, Uncle Monty, don't forget about us. Do I know you? Dude, I, I, and I love you guys, and I love doing this show. You'd never see me again. Never. Yeah. I might do, hey, look at me. I'm a billionaire. Here are the things I'm doing. I might take you real estate shopping, car shopping, traveling, golf courses. You wouldn't sure. be getting up at 4 a.m. anymore. I can tell you that. I'd be, I would have, I would have the best personal trainer that comes to my house three times a week, trains me and Mrs. Monty in our gym, our custom gym. Yep. Uh, if I win the lotto, the first thing I'm doing is paying off my home and buying a home for my parents and a new one for me. I would put X mil in the market that gives me my current salary and dividends. You're not wrong. I would have money working for me aside from, I you, I would put a, a, if I won 500 million, I'd probably put 50 million into a money market account and my, my fidelity guy can go ahead and grow that. Yeah. My JP Morgan Chase private client can go ahead and grow that for me. Yeah. In all seriousness, you know. That's probably what I what I could what I would do. Uh, if you won the lottery, would you buy me an Xbox of zebra cakes? Buy me a box of zebra cakes. Certainly, John. Certainly, there's no doubt about it. Uh, <laughs> well done with the two hole setup. I'm that's yeah. What you I'm see, saying. you see what I'm saying? Like it's perfect. You know, it, and it really should be named after me because there's two holes. Like it, it really should be. De uh, Deliric, only thing that would change: no bills, renovate my house, put everything else away, and not tell a damn person. I would still work because I do like what I do. Uh, I would, the house I live in is really, I have a really nice house. I would rent it. It's a, it's a revenue generating property. No question about it. Uh, I would rent it. Um, and then I would, before that though, I would build something custom. Yeah. I, I don't need, everybody wants to build like this mausoleum of a house. I need 2,500 square feet of living space. And then I need a barn. I want a barn for my cars. I want a, a, a little... Yeah, I've always wanted a barn is, you know, a barn or like a a, a warehouse, a, you know, a barn that's big enough to park the cars in, have a simulator, have a chill pad. That's what you need. I think so. I absolutely think so. Uh, hey, Playa, uh, if I won Mega Millions, I would buy a ranch in Wyoming and I would buy you Bears tickets. Yeah, absolutely. Kim Coulter, hello. Build three holes with three different sets of tees. That's what I'm saying. Have... I'd pay Darren Ingram to come to my house. My my golf guy, my golf coach, Darren Ingram up at Canyons of Park City. I'd pay Darren Ingram to come to my house three days a week and give me lessons. And we would play golf. Oh, my God. I'd be a scratch golfer by tomorrow. 
Uh, old Greg, uh, I'd, uh, I would order fries and tendies anywhere, especially if Mexican places have them. Jake is that guy. <laughs> he goes to an Italian place. He's like, hey, can you make me a chicken burrito? They're like, no. Uh, Edward Weiner, uh, good morning. Like 113 should be an interesting day in Mecklenburg County Court as FSU and the ACC go at it. Should be a very okay, interesting bro, you day. You need to chill out on the serious comments. Okay? We'll have that on Monday yeah. for you. Uh, UW fan Jim Monty, if you spend five bucks, your odds are almost identical if you spend 500. I know. I'm aware. I'm spending 100. I Trust me, I have researched this. Mrs. Monty has numbers that we play because they are higher percentage numbers. Uh, RJ Seaman, I'd buy a $3 million RV, a jet, and a yacht. The problem is all that stuff is super expensive to own. Yeah, I'm not a huge RV guy. Get a, a RV guy. get a net check card. Yeah. Buy into a plane subscription. Yeah. And I am not buying a yacht. Those things are so expensive to own. I, I yeah, it'd be interesting to see where I lived full time. Yeah, I, I definitely want at some point, probably not going to be for a while, but at some point to have out in the yonder house on a piece of land. Yep. Uh, I win a billion Bacavos for everyone. That's hey, disgusting. Hey, you see? See, Jimmy, that's, that's, Jimmy, you know. Why do you Bacavo. choose violence on Friday mornings, Jimmy? Bacavo. Disgusting. Juicy. Monty, you could buy the world Monty Show memberships. Could. And then have a show that's just black screen and sound drops. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. Mike Smith, diamond encrusted gold microphones for the show. Exactly right. Play uh, Puakia, Monty. Hokalua is way overpriced, but it pay, uh, play it once. I can't remember where we're going. We're going to the really nice PGA resort in, on Kauai. Oh, my God. I can't remember the name of you it. Yeah, Google that real quick. Man. I'm a terrible person. Yeah, Google that real quick. Um, but, yeah, we're going to Kauai in June for our anniversary. Uh, and it's going to be – it is going to be amazing. Um golf pga course let's see um it is totally it is totally worth it to to golf i just think hawaii golf is spectacular uh ocean course no i can't remember the name of the place we're going i'm terrible i it's uh princeville we're going to princeville my wife booked that nice which is amazing yeah Looking forward to that. I'm a simple man. I will. I only require zebra cakes. Yeah. Uh, Eric Wasikowski, Monty, Doomsday Bunker? Probably not. If it's Doomsday, just take me out. I don't want to live through it. Honest to God. Touring van greater than an RV. Give me a sprinter. Give me a custom sprinter. Yes, sir. See, that's what that's kind of what I'm saying about like if you have that kind of money, I do think two cars is the way to go. Not more than that, just two. Have the one that's really nice, and then have the one that eats the miles. Giggity chose violence. Do I read his comment? Sure. What's he got? What's he got? Let me guess. This is something about me. If Waska, if Wasikowski won, would he help Trump with the bond money? Yes, he probably would. You know, now that they're going to take all his assets today, you know. Anyway, good talk. Dakota, Giggity just won the show with this comment. He did. All right. Let's give away uh, a, how many memberships do we have? 21, 22, 23, 43, 53, 63 memberships. Let's give away a $75 Amazon gift card. Harry Austin gave 10. Pete Forty gave 10. UW fan Jim gave one. Dakota Tubbs gave 40. Mike Smith gave one, and Welcome to the Nightmare gave one. Mike Smith already won, so. I think it's between Welcome to the Nightmare and Dakota Tubbs because Dakota gave 40, but Welcome to the Nightmare doesn't support Putin. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and... But Dakota's here every day. At Welcome to the Nightmare is here very often. But Welcome to the Nightmare, I think, is is probably more. Big Daddy Magic says tubs for the win. <laughs> um, Mike Smith says give it to Vladdy. Give it. Uh, Got to give the highest number the win. All right, Tucker Carlson wins. 
Vladdy Carlson go ahead and just kidding. That was a Monty show propaganda piece. He didn't win. Anything. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. No, Dakota, DM Dakota me. Tubbs. We'll give it to you. Love you, buddy. I appreciate you every day. You're here every day on the Monty show. Yeah. Um, I appreciate everybody that supports this show. Thank you very much. Until Monday. Remember that if you get in an accident this weekend, you guys, there's only one place to go. Coast to coast, no matter where you are, the advocates, the advocates.com. Be safe out there. No matter what you're doing, golf, walking, sitting on the couch, shooting water with a bidet, getting food poisoning. Be safe this weekend. Hopefully I won't see you on Monday because I won the lottery. But if I do, can't wait to talk to you on Monday. Until Monday, say goodbye, Jake. Goodbye, Jake.